Hey everyone, it's David Brzezowski with TalentSmart EQ with my final EQ how-to tips for 2021. And I thought we would end the year with something to help us start next year on the right foot. So how about five EQ how-to tips for dramatically changing your life? And the first one is let's ditch the electronic devices in bed with us before we go to sleep. Studies continue to show us that when we have laptops and tablets and cell phones in bed with us and we are reading those right up close to our face, that what is happening is that they are emitting short wavelength blue lights into our face. And what that isn't doing it is, is impairing the melatonin production. So what happens is we are less likely to fall asleep well. And then when we do fall asleep, it's not making our sleep patterns very strong. So then we're not very productive the next day. So ditch them from, from being in bed with you and you should get a better night's sleep and also be far more productive the next day. Tip number two is to appreciate the here and now. You know, there is something to be said about gratitude being the fundamental for peace and happiness. So don't kid yourself into thinking that the something that you want to have is going to actually make you happier. People keep saying, listen, if I can't be happy in where I am today, when I do make it to that big life or that great life, I may not be happy with that either. Earlier this year, in an earlier EQ How To, we had a great phrase that I'd love to throw back out there is, let's bring on an attitude of gratitude. Tip number three is to get organized. I mean, I don't think any of us have a lot of spare time on our hands. I know I don't. Do you? So one of the problems is that we keep on looking for things that we just can't find because they're not in the place that maybe we thought they were. So get yourself organized. Start with the things that you ask yourself, where did I put that? You know, where could that be? When you have places that you can go to to find the things that you absolutely need, you're going to be less stressed to try and find it. So start with that. Next, grab yourself this, a big old calendar that you can see in every single store you shop at. That's my big desktop calendar and it's for the entire year. Start jotting down the things that you need to remember or whatever it's gonna do to keep yourself organized and then graduate to buying some folders. And you know that pile of paperwork that you have on the dining room table? That's why you're not eating there? Put them into folders and keep yourself organized. When you start off well, you will be less stressed along the way. Tip number four is to, to stick to realistic goals. Now, do not get me wrong. I am all about shooting for the stars, but sometimes you need to start your goals off at a more realistic pace. And then as you start achieving them, amp up those goals. There is everything that we are doing right now is planning for 2022. Work, personal life, relationships, losing weight. I mean, there's nothing worse than if you set a goal on January 1st that you would like to lose 30 pounds by April 1st. And then you get on the scale on April 1st and it tells you that you lost 15 pounds. And your reaction is, I didn't meet my goal. But you know what? Losing 15 pounds in three months, pretty awesome. So we don't look at it that way because we didn't hit the goal. So set more realistic goals and then amp that goal up after you hit the first goal. You will be more happy whenever you hit goals and then make them more challenging as you move along. And my final tip of the year, if you will, is do something that reminds you of you. You know, we often use this phrase of, I really need more me time. But what's that actually mean? I would like to think that that means you get to take some time for yourself to be truly authentic to you. So whether that's, I haven't read a book in a while, and I'm going to grab a book, sit in front of the fireplace, and spend a couple of hours doing that because it makes you happy. Or maybe when everybody's out of the house, you crank up the music, and you just dance your heart out in the living room. You do you and make yourself a little happier. Those are my five EQ how-to tips for dramatically changing your life, or at least to start off doing that. And I'd love to thank you all for tuning in this entire year. I've gotten such great feedback from everybody, and I would love to hear from you 
would you would like to hear from me in 2022? Give me some love at the bottom here with a thumbs up or a heart. And please feel free to chime in with some thoughts and ideas about what you would like to hear about more emotional intelligence for you. I'm humbled that you allow me to come into your computer and to be able to hear twice a month ways to improve your emotional intelligence and ways to make your life a little bit more effective. From all of us at Town Smart EQ, we wish you and your families the happiest of holidays and a fantastic 2022. We will see you back then.